Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to Fifex Kitchen. Okay, so second video from our Nuke NGX series. Today we are going to create a plugin for Nuke that is using uh, OpenCV to do like a very very tiny image processing. And in that case we'll be converting an image from RGB to BGR, as simple as that. And I will just start right away with the website of the NDK. So here there is some stuff I need to clarify. So I have been doing my researching for a while how to create a, a plugin for Nuke and so on. And I didn't care much about the result that comes out in Google because in the end it's just the NDK uh, developer's guide from uh, Foundry. But it turns out that's really important. So for example today we're going to work with the Planner IOP. And if you have a look over it, that's a, a documentation for the Planner IOB, okay? Uh, it says like get stripe count, get stripe box, and do fetch plan, and so on. And I've been like pulling my hair uh, since a while. I'm trying to find out why these functions are not working so far right now. And it turns out that this is actually an old SDK, and that's the recent one. Ta-da! Totally different functions. And one important thing, because that's what I showed in the last video that we are going to use the request function. Um, and it says here, don't ever try to implement this and instead use the get request. So we are going to do some major changes this time in our plugin. And I would love just to hop on and check it out. Um, so I already have some examples. I was trying to find out how to make it to work so mind me that if you are copying uh, stuff from the old node that we created and i will throw it on the desktop uh, with x kitchen you can jx series and this time we're going to do open cv node okay we were going to copy literally everything we did last time from the code so open cv node we need a git repository and Okay, so we are going to change it to 64-bit release, going to the project settings. Of course, we're not going to see anything related because we don't have a CPP file. So first, let's create the first file. I would call it OpenCV node the CPP. Okay, and I will have two other files. One for some extra functions we are going to use next. And in the header files, I also need a header file. I will call it details. Okay, so that's mainly what I need and properties. Uh, we are going to do a DLL. It's a plugin, so the output will be a DLL file. And here we are going to include the Nuke NDK. So you just copy it directly from my other project. Need the Nuke NDK. And also OpenCV, the include folder. Cool. Next, I need to get um, the libraries. And the same here. I'm going to have new libraries. So, in additional libraries here, just the new folder. And the same with OpenCV the OpenCV folder, library folder. Cool. And then we have what libraries we are actually using as we did last time. It's always popping up here. <laughs> um, inside input, we are going to use DD image, U34.lab. And for OpenCV, it's called OpenCV world 412.lab. Okay. So now we are ready to go. Again, I will copy uh, the post build event for copying the Nuke uh, plugin and then running Nuke itself so we can test it out. So I will copy it from here, build events, post build events. We talked already about this in the last video in case if you're wondering why I'm just copying the code from now. Cool. Now um, I'm going to include 
the same code from last video so I don't know why I'm doing the video again and again but there's just one small change we are going to do um, so I can literally uh, copy the include stuff so we're going to include the panel IOP, the new wrapper, utils from our uh, header files and OpenCV and using the same header from last time but instead of RGB node we are calling it OpenCV node okay and that's second <laughs> OpenCV node from VFX Kitchen it's again planner IOP, planner IOP it's called OpenCV node OpenCV node and let me explain what we have here so now we are implementing the get request instead of uh, underscore request that was already uh, shown in the last video render stripe uh, we are not going to use render stripe so it's false but that's the main function like um, in the other plugin it's called engine but in this case it's called render stripe and render fault planes return true because we need the full frame with the three channels or four channels always to be loaded and that's exactly the same i don't want to waste your time um rewriting the code so um i do need out mat i need source mat so source mat is um basically the container where we are going to save our uh, input from the read node so just to explain right here we have a container inside Nuke and we have OpenCV it's with its own container. So we have to convert the container from Nuke to OpenCV, do the image processing in OpenCV and then send it back to Nuke. That's literally our workflow. So for that reason, that's why I have the source mat, which will be like just a placeholder at the moment. And then later we will have a function to convert the input uh, to our OpenCV node. We are converting it into a matrix for OpenCV. We do our image processing, like the basic one, and then we convert it back as an uh, image plane to display it. So uh, to keep going, we need um, the validate. Of course, I have to call it OpenCV node. And this one too. OK. And the render stripe and the other ones. I will just copy this here, and then I will put the definition of the render strap because that's the part where I should explain. So open CV node, open CV node, open CV node, open CV node, node, node. Cool. And that's it. So now the plugin should work so far, but there's no render strap, nothing is going to happen. But at least it's going to copy it. And I need to add also um, in our users profile I will just call it user profile slash dot nuke I know Windows is using backslash not forward slash and that's it so inside this menu I would love to add the OpenCV node so I'll just copy it here and okay cool so next time we click on the left side on the bottom to create our the, the node for ourselves okay uh what's next so now if i give it a try it will just try and work without nothing because we don't have any knobs or any other uh, functions so let's jump into uh, utils inside utils i'm going to define just two functions one function for converting the input to opencv mat the other function to change the opencv mat to uh, on image plane so i'm going to include let me just copy it because it's quite easier to explain the code and focus more on the description than just uh, wasting more time on um, just writing. Okay, so uh, we are importing the panel IOP because that's our input here. So that's first that like we are imp uh, the input. We are changing it into OpenCV mat, and when we do the image processing, we're changing the OpenCV mat into image plane. Okay, so we are importing a uh, planner IOP header, OpenCV, and utils. I will tell you why I need utils later. Uh, but I will start first with this function. So that's our input. We get uh, the channels for our input. So first channel is R, and then the G channel is the next from the first, and the third one, and so on. 
and the output mat I'm going to give it again as a zeros but with the height and width of the input so if you have a read node with an image loaded in a full HD resolution our OpenCV mat will be in the same resolution and then we are making a for loop into the rows and columns of the image all the rows the columns sorry and all the rows and we are going uh, to do like a vector 3 like RGB usually we have three channels and we are setting its color to uh, the input at the X and Y and then the channel that we are going to show so I'm doing it in that order because OpenCV usually use BGR instead of RGB it's exactly the same but just the index is different okay so that means the input are going to be the input is going to be um, a matrix for OpenCV and here OpenCV to mat to image plane which is the, the output we are going to show later in the image so at first I'm making it unique and making it writable so I make sure that I can actually write on this image plane then I'm getting the boundaries of this image plane and then I create an empty uh, vector for the color so like it includes RGB that's why it's vector 3 and then I'm checking if the input mat is not empty so then I will request uh, the channels for uh, the output image plane then I can define the R, the G and B and worth mentioning I found a solution for my problem with the uh, AGX in paint uh, the difference is that I used to write down here 0, 1 and 2 just thinking that it's going to use the channel 0, the channel 1, channel 2 but actually it turned out that it's, I need to have a pointer for the channel itself so that's why I'm using that method it looks so stupid actually here but it's doing the job uh, so the pixel color I'm picking now is I'm doing in the input mat which is my uh, OpenCV matrix I'm saying at the vector 3 at the point X and Y give me the color so now that's basically a placeholder with three uh, values a vector 3 each value represents uh, R and G and B and then uh, in the output plane I say writable at X and Y columns and rows and then we channel the, the red channel then I'm setting it I'm setting the pixel color for it and uh, for the conversion that needs to be divided by 250 50 and the same here should be multiplied by 250 50 just the conversion um, so that's uh, the main two uh, functions we have and then we have to uh, define the headers for these functions so we can use it later between the, uh, the other files so you can have two cpp files running um, functions without redefining the function in each file I will just copy it so again I'm defining the planner IOP OpenCV using the, uh, the namespace and just the header of the function so you can see here that's the function what's it's doing and that's just the header cool so now comes the part where we are going to play with the, Im the, the image plane so first thing I would love to have input 0 dot fetch plane to output plane and what is this one's doing is that it's overriding the output plane with our input 0 so input is equal to the output in any ways okay and then we need to do a IOP to open to CV mat and here we are going to give the input of our uh, input 0 and the output mat that we are writing on which is here the source mat okay so we are converting now the input 0 to our matrix for OpenCV and then we're going to do a basic OpenCV uh, convert color the source mat is our source mat and the, uh, the decision is also source mat and the conversion is going to be CV uh, color RGB to BGR okay so three channels in three channels out and after we finish we are going to do a uh, mat to image plane and our input will be the source mat and the output is going to be our output plane cool so now we have fetched the input 
to our output plane so now the boundaries of the output plane is fixed then we are converting our input IOP to an uh, OpenCV matrix and then we are converting the color that's like the, the OpenCV function we are using now so changing the source into BGR RGB to BGR and then we are converting later the source uh, mat for OpenCV into an output plane and then that's it so let's give it a try and see how's it going to be Cheers! Okay, my crashes, nice. Open CV node, now we have our node here and I'm going to load a normal image. So connecting my node to it and then as you can see now it's blue. So it just swapped the RGB to PGR. And that's the same if you're going to have a different image and just link this one to it. So as you can see. Um, yeah, so that was it for today. Um, sorry for being sick for two weeks. It's not in my hand. And yeah, stay tuned for the next videos. I'm excited about it. Uh, the next video will be manipulating the NVIDIA NGX NPAIN that can fit to our node. But I think in between I will just post a trailer of such a project I was working on during the weekend. So yeah, I wish you a perfect day. And Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. I'll shoot you at the home. Boom, 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 boom.